Joining me now in the studio are boxing coach Brian Hughes and his sport psychologist son Damien, who have together written a book about the American boxer Thomas Hearns, the hitman. Welcome, gents. Thank so, you. two men from Manchester, a boxer from Detroit. What's the interest there? Well, I first uh, met him, in, I think it was in 1979, when I went over. There was always a publicity in the boxing magazines about Emmanuel Stewart, this uh, young coach from Detroit, who had this fantastic, you know, uh, array of talent. And I wanted to uh, learn more about the American system of boxing. And I went over there, I took uh, Ensley Bingham with me and Lance Williams. And uh, we was, you know, in, in the crunk gym. And I was amazed at what I saw... The, 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 uh, the amount of boxers that they had that was top class was unbelievable. And uh, it was, it was a, a wonderful experience for, for these two young lads. Emsley Bingham went on to win a British title and uh, Lance Williams should have got something, only, you know, uh, he had a bit of a medical thing and it, it, it didn't take place. But I'd, on, while we was there, we saw a young Thomas Hearns that had just turned professional after winning the Golden Gloves and Boxing for America. And uh, I was absolutely astounded by the ability. He stood six foot two, and he was only ten stone seven. And he had a lovely, what they call, side-on style. And uh, it was something that I loved. It was the way he used. He got an extra five inches on his height by standing side-on. And the way he could punch was unbelievable. And all the other talent, the kids that was in that gym, was unbelievable. And, and Emmanuel Stewart was a great coach. And they went on to produce, you know, umpteen champions. And uh, when I came away, I was always impressed by watching uh, Ernst especially. The way he could knock people out was unbelievable. And everybody, even now, he's been retired for quite a few years, they still all talk about the hit man, okay. Thomas Ernst. And the Motor City Cobra, he was called as well. Right. But it was brilliant, and it was a great learning uh, uh, style for me and for the two lads that I took over. OK, and Damien, uh, well, eight world titles, it must be an interesting psyche to get sort of behind and look at because he didn't come from, you know, the most glamorous of sort of backgrounds and so on. Yeah, absolutely. It was fascinating where, even for a long time, when he first went into the Cronk gym, um, even then Emmanuel Stewart needed some convincing from some of his other coaches about it, but that sort of determination to press on and make himself a figurehead that he became was evident even from a really young age, so some really good insights even into his very early career that you yeah. saw manifested when he fought in the legendary fights with the likes of Marvin Hagler, Sugar Ray Leonard and Roberto Duran. I guess it's something as well that sort of young Man Manchester boxers can look at because, you know, a lot of the time boxing is that type of sport where people, you know, come from sort of rough backgrounds, so underprivileged backgrounds and go on and, you know, make fantastic amounts of money and are great sportsmen as well. Um, so do you think that's something that people can pick up from it? I mean, obviously you work on sort of the, the more psychological side of it and it's, and it's Brian, you work on much of the more boxing yeah, story behind it, yeah. yeah. Well, he's still, I mean, he's, he's actually one of the sports success stories that he's still retain most of his money, he's still got his good health, you know, and that's something that a lot of fighters, you know, either come back or, ne or end up losing the money. So he's a great example all the way through his career about how he conducted himself, both inside and outside of the ring. OK, and, and Brian, I mean, you know, fantastic fighter, and yourself oh. as well, obviously, your career, you're a bit of a Manchester institution, especially in the boxing world as well. Thank you. <laughs> but, I mean, do, do you know, how much did you learn, and what, what well, did it, you take away from it, and that sort of thing, it, that's it, in your career? I, I took it, I love a lot from it. Even now, uh, there's things that I saw in the crunk gym that I practice here now, you know, like turning the hips and turning the knee inside to get that extra spring and power behind the punch. Uh, but the, you know, the, the main thing about these uh, great fighters like Hearns is that people forget them. Although they've got a, a great name and they're a legend, people forget what it was like, how they, how they came up. And they all learnt the hard way. There's no easy way, there's no magic wand no. To, to come along. It, it's people like Damien that come along and can say, you know, psychology, look at them and, uh, and assess what they can go on to the future. And it, it, it is hard work. There's no, there's no easy way... Uh, but you can learn all the time from everybody. Yeah. OK. Well, thanks very much, gents, for coming in. Uh, we've got a copy of the book here, and if you fancy one of your own, we've got five to give away. If you fancy getting your hands on those, all you have to do is email in your name and your contact details to today at channelm.co.uk and we'll draw out the names out of a hat. Good luck with that.